Hi there. Uh, today I will go over um, already existing uh, article how to reinitialize replication in a multi-node cluster on CA API gateways. Um, this article can be used in multiple versions, 7.x, 8.x, 9.x. It's been out there for a long time, but the reason I'm going over this uh, article is sometimes it's just a little confusing. Um, um, for example, um, uh, when to clone database, when not to clone, can we stop, uh, go with this article without stopping uh, a, a service, uh, do we have to have a downtime for this, and, and so on. So I'm going to just go over this article really quick. Um, in my lab, I do have two nodes, X and Y. Um, right now, my application is running perfectly fine, but what I, what I will do is stop it and uh, rebuild it from scratch, so you can see how it's done. Uh, we'll go over some details as well. So let's go uh, to my lab. Okay. Right now, right now my application should be up and running. It is. All right. Um, I will go back to the article. Uh, and then um, go over the steps. The first step is to make a backup. Before uh, prior to this video, I already made a backup, so I will skip that step. Um, I will go directly step four, where we actually stop my SQL, reset master, and reset slave, reset slave all. These commands, what they do is they make sure that in case the replication is broken, right? The repl when uh, uh, is uh, 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 we actually have to stop it first, and clean it up, right? Um, right now, if you go to, to the lab, um, I, will I will list. I will list my SQL partition. We can't see these um, SGG relay uh, 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 bin logs, um, index files, info files. Okay, so these files, as, uh, as long as your replication is up and running fine, these files will, will slowly get, in, uh, uh, get bigger and bigger. Um, and these index files will change. They will go from one to ten, uh, like ten, eleven, whatever. As long as if you have this, if if you uh, have this replication running for months, they will go to thousands. And um, what this, what these uh, a few commands do, that what will, they will stop replication. They will reset those bin and relay logs in their index file, so they start from scratch. When the replication is broken, it's not stopped, right? It's broken. So what in that case? What we have here, it, these these logs, they will grow faster, and they will not be managed right. So, in the, uh, when the replication is broken, that MySQL partition will eventually get filled up with, with these logs, and will crash your MySQL service and eventually your server. Um, so, th it's very important that we actually stop replication properly, clean it up a little bit, um, and so let's do that. So, first thing, I'm going to go on primary, stop replication, and go on secondary, stop replication. I'm going to go, go back to the article. Next command is reset master. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing as here. And one more command, two commands actually, I can run in block together same time. And I'm going to show you the difference now. Okay. Well, my, 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 my SQL replication, it was not running for that long, so it's like fairly new, so these numbers are small as is. But if you see the number two is gone, right? I'm, I reset it back to one. 
and this one here should be 1, 2. So right now when we check replication, we should not get this result um, from this command. It should be just blank, nothing. And that tells me the replication is completely stopped, nothing is running. And these belong in really logs will stay as is, they will not grow. So if you don't have time for downtime, you don't have you cannot rebuild replication at the moment, you can stop it and clean it up at least. So your servers are okay, healthy, right? Um okay, so let's go back to our article and um one of the main questions was can we do it without stopping the service? Yes, you can. Like in my lab, um, I don't have any traffic right now, so yes, I can do it. Um, in production, if you have a lots of traffic, um, policies or touching database a lot, we do recommend highly to stop SSG service so you don't corrupt your already existing healthy database. Okay, so what we're gonna do is stop. SG service on both nodes. Okay. Next step in article is to actually rebuild the replication. So I'm going to use this command this script create underscore slave.sh secondary node first. I also prefer to use dash v with verbose. Um, okay, now it's asking me to enter master, which is the primary or the other node, right? Since we are this uh, we are, since we are doing my SQL replication, which is master master, uh, it's a uh, 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 secondary is master is primary node, and primary is master is the secondary node. So it's always the other node. So what I can do is copy. Uh, my username and password are all default. I'm gonna type in here default password root master uh, root my SQL username and here yes we do want to clone database from primary. Okay, we clone database. So secondary node gets exact copy of primary database so you don't have to wait for replication to sync it um, our database name is SSG I did not change the name it's default so yes confirm here yes I will confirm that I want to clone database and drop my secondary node database that's what it's doing right now okay so it looks like we did it that was pretty quick because my database is not that large, so it doesn't take that long to copy over. Okay, so we're, we're gonna do the same thing on primary. We're gonna type in the fully qualified domain name of the secondary node. You could also do it with IP address, depends how you have it set up. Okay, username and password are all the same default. I do not want to clone database because I already have it. And I'm done. Now, do not forget to start the services back. Service SSG start. Okay, so if you made your database, your database is small, this replication process is really quick. Um, we have articles out there how to purge your audits from database. So you shrink your database, make it a little smaller, so it's easier for you to copy. Okay, so let's check my SQL replication. Next thing in article is to check replication. Either do we have a okay? That looks like we're good to go. Okay, running yes, yes, and here we also have a yes, yes. There's no errors. We're good to go. Okay, so with this I would conclude um, this video. For more details, information about re how to reinitialize replication, click the information bubble on top right corner to load the product page. 
from there you can go to product documentation, visit CA communities, or see the learning path. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video.